out of all the interviews that you've done, and you've done probably thousands upon mm-hmm. thousands, what was the best interview? The one that you loved the most that was dear to you? Hmm. It was a few of them, man. Um, it's crazy because, like, sitting with Michael Jackson, who does that? I didn't even know you said you with know Michael Jackson. That, I'm about to go look for that. Is that online? Nope. Nah, How did that go? It was just it was just a sit down meeting. I didn't even record it. You know what I'm saying? Oh wow! He summons me to Las Vegas, and I went and sat with him, and just we spent the day. You know what I'm saying? How was that? It's fucking amazing, fucking amazing, dude. Uh, Barack Obama. Uh, you spent the day with Mike. Yeah. Now I've seen videos mm-hmm. of Mike in the back of these cars, like real ladies. Mike, is he like that? Is he Man, got a deeper voice like people say? You, Does he bro. sound like that? What is Mike like when yeah, you spend a day with dude him? Relax, was, Mike. He was laughing at shit. I thought Michael Jackson shouldn't have been laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I mean, bro, it was no cameras around. And I think he really enjoyed hanging with us. Because even when it was time to leave, my man was like, this is how, how powerful this motherfucker knew he was. My man said it was the CES, that electric show that goes on in Vegas. Mm-hmm. My man we was like, oh, yeah, that CES show is going on. And he was like, oh, you know, we should all go together. We all go together and we'll go after hours and we'll just have our. I'm like, this motherfucker know that when the CES show is over, he can walk in with whoever he want and they'll hold it open for him. Mm. My man told me he and he was like, um. You know, he said, uh, I was, they were talking about how big I was, how much I weighed. Uh-huh. And my man said, why did you lose the weight? Mike asked you that. Yeah. And I remember I said, well, I said, you know what, man? I said, I was, you know, 32 at the time. I'm over 500 pounds. I'm looking and I'm like, you know, do I have more life behind me than I have in front of me? I said, how many 64 year old, 500 pound men do you see walking around? And if they are around, that's not assisted with a breathing apparatus or walking on crutches or something like that. And as I'm saying it, I remember dude, he just kept looking at me. He was going. Mm -hmm. And I, I felt like I was saying exactly what he was thinking. Right. Like, like take care of yourself. Right. And my man asked me, he said, you know, he said, can, can you go into a store and go shopping? And I was like, yeah. And he said, you can go in and just put things in the cart and just make it out the store without people. Really. And I'm like, man, I said, I don't know if you could do that big. Yeah. But, but it's different. You know, I can go to a store. People will recognize me. Oh, I yeah. go to the store. The, Michael Jack can go to a store. The world oh, stop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, anybody that's in the fucking mall or whatever, they running in that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. And so he was like, you can put things in the shopping cart and just <laughs> shop. And I was like, yeah. I say, who the fuck you think I am, Michael Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, shit, like, and dude, he would just laugh, man, just laugh like a motherfucker, bro. So, those, 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 those are the moments. So he just called and he just wanted to hang out for the day. Yep. He wanted me to hear something and oh, hear a record. Yep, it was uh, when they were doing that that Thriller. I don't know was if it was Thriller twenty five thirty. I don't know what it was, uh-huh. but um, yeah, he had called us up and. That was dope. Yeah, man. And dude was just like, and and it was crazy, man, because I remember looking and I was like, that's motherfucking Michael Jackson right there. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Because when he got to the, when we got to the studio, he wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I went to go use the restroom real quick. And when I came back, the studio had like a glass door and all you could see is like just from here on, you could just see like a couch. You couldn't see in the studio, but I saw this kid sitting there probably like about three or four years old two, about mm-hmm. three or four. And I was like, Oh shit, that's blanket. Now at this time, the world hadn't seen blanket. Remember he used to cover him up mm-hmm. and all that right. shit. And so I'm looking and I'm like, Oh shit, that's blanket. Then when I walk in, he's sitting at the board and they like, uh, Hey, Michael, you know, this is big boy, big boy, Mike. And I remember I was wearing a big boy's neighborhood shirt. And when he stood up, he was like, oh, I love your shirt. And when he went to shake my hand, 
I was like, this motherfucker's hand. You know, it wasn't like, you right, know, right, right. His shake was like, mm, yeah, motherfucker. His shake was like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember, dude, when we went to go get the picture, I remember when I said, hey, Mike, you know, can you take a picture of us, so on and so forth? And I remember I grabbed his arm, and this motherfucker's arm was like, I thought it was going to be scrawny. Right, right. Like, this is about a bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, but people say, oh, he dropped his voice a little bit. And I could hear it, you know, right. but, but he stayed, he, he stayed here. Right, right, He stayed right. right there, but you could, you know, you right. could hear it. Yeah, but that was those those moments like that where, you know, like, damn. Big, who do you think? Because I have, I have the idea who I think. Who has the, what artist has the Michael Jackson effect to you that's out there right now? I, for me, the only person I see in that lane is Beyonce for mm-hmm. me. Yeah. Where anywhere she go is it's yeah. over yeah. with. Is there another artist or who else do you see that has that's a great that's gained that sort of notoriety and For as one, big as Mike? No one. No one. No one. Because I lived it and I saw it. Right. And I lived it and I saw it when it was actual records being sold and it wasn't social media and it you know, it wasn't streams. It, it was people, you know, that was falling out at concerts, right. you know? So you could look at certain things for one, if there's any, if Michael Jackson is that one, everybody else is distant, Wow, you know? And when I say distant, Beyonce got an effect, right? CB, Chris Brown got an effect, right? Taylor Swift is got an, she's got a fucking yeah. effect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where Beyonce is somebody's Michael Jackson. To, right. uh, you know, Taylor Swift, you know, go to football games, the jerseys sell out. <laughs> Her man wears something, that shit sell out. Monday Night Football, when the brothers played, thinking the families were going to come together, that was the biggest fucking Monday Night Football game in 30 seasons or something. He got shit. a million followers yeah. in like three days. Yeah, so there's an effect crazy. there. And then I think Chris gets it a lot because. The entertainer side, you know what I'm saying? But Chris, you know, I sat down with Chris and I asked him, how do you feel about the comparisons with Michael Jackson? And Chris would tell you, like, man, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like that, you know, because Chris grew up off of Michael Jackson, Mm -hmm. you know, so to be mentioned, that's beautiful. But Chris is what he told me, like, like, nah, 